Hey everyone, it's Mindy Hahn, the Midwest Premier Sports Handicapper, coming to you from TonySpicks.com and the half of the morning show duo, The Morning Steam with Ramon Scott. Uh, but hope you enjoy this free pick video from our show. Uh, be sure to click in the link in the description for our best bets. Now here is the pick. All right, Mindy, the Miami Marlins, Braxton Garrett, Alan Graves, Kyle and in this one, the Braves pretty big favorite, buck eighty, and a uh, move here coming in early. Steam was reported all over, but look at this number starting to dip even further. I saw this number touch nine. I've already seen a little bit of it's starting to creep in there. Uh, if I look at the uh, board right now with it, Mindy, it's a pretty much a juiced. Eight and a half, but I am seeing a DK already at eight or 20. So uh, this one is dropping pretty severely. I'm showing uh, mostly about eight under 25, but also starting to see some eights. This one's getting hit lower all of a sudden. Uh, that early steam coming in on the under is coming. Under is coming. The early steam was over. Go ahead. Yeah, um, I was kind of looking at the uh, the under here in, in this one, Ramon. Uh, if we take a look at where we're sitting, we got, you know, uh, here we, uh, I think I got the wrong printout. I got wrong pictures in there, so I'll have to go uh, to my sheet you, here. Sorry about that. If you need uh, a moment, I can. Yeah, I'm getting it up. Oh, okay. Oh, because no, I had, I had like, my printout from yesterday on my picture. So one oh, day, you, one Mindy, you know, I'm, you know, I'm calling. <laughs> I, I can fill a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. So we got uh, Braxton Garrett here with his 2.6 ERA. We know Kyle Wright. Uh, you know, he has a little bit higher ERA here as of late, 5.93 here. Uh, but yeah, it's one of those that the Marlins, you know, we know they haven't been scoring a ton here. Uh, and the Braves, uh, you know, they've been a little bit under five runs as well. So if I take a look at that, I get me uh, an under the total. That's how I'm going to go here uh, today, Ramon. Okay, Mindy. You know what? Agree with you. We're not getting anything close to the best price. I guess that's what we're, you know, faced <laughs> with in this one all of a sudden. Uh, yeah, Garrett's done a real nice job. Uh, we definitely got to come around a little pretty sol I'm pretty sold on the move here. Uh, to the under, so I'm going to uh, side with you in this one. Hope we can still get an eight and a half time we get off the air here. Uh, these teams do definitely trend over a little bit, especially Atlanta, uh, 14 and five to the yeah. over last 19. Miami, pr pretty solid under nine and four last 13. Uh, let's go under Miami and Atlanta. And hey, why not? I mean, you saw the record yesterday. We're doing uh, well, we're in agreement. That's fine by me. Not the best price, but let's take it. All right. All right. We got it. Now, price it's is gone. One, right away. We went to the store to get something. The price was different. We still needed that item. Uh, let's get it. Um, All right. All right. And uh, move. Oh, let me just uh, No, uh, Here's Ziggy said Marlins and Lake on the under. Hello also to Jerome. Lucky Power here today as well. He says, and like Butterscotch says the under. All right, Mindy, let's move along now and take a look at uh, more day games. Here's the Dodgers and uh, Urias, uh, you know, is, is found his form. Keller, um, one of the big surprises, so pretty terrific job. Uh, maybe uh, shooting a little bit with his, uh, uh, you know, mediocre history, but doing a great job so far. Dodgers, Dodgers here, dollar fifty-five, seven and a half over 20. Well, this is another one that Urias, he's not really been in form, as we know. He has a 3.33 overall, uh, but on the road hasn't uh, been very productive. He had that bad outing versus the Cubs, sitting at that 5.79 ERA. Mitch Keller, he's been doing pretty well, uh, ERA around uh, three. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the over. Uh, Dodgers to Hill putting up five and a half uh, runs. Dodgers are also giving up six runs. I'm going to go uh, over the total here today, Ramon. A couple of teams have definitely been up a few overs, to say the least, of late. Uh, but for me, I'll end up uh, with Pittsburgh here. Let's see if I – oh, oh, oh. all right. 
Dodgers, whatever. I really don't mind Pittsburgh on a money line here. But let's add the handicap just because of what's been going on in this series a little bit. Uh, Ziggy's on the dock here. But I think we'll see some mixed results on this one. Hello to Rodney. Did you enjoy the game yesterday? Uh, uh, sounds like it got off to without bad weather. So great to see you here today. And uh, What, a big 250 or something like that? So. Hey. What's that? What, what did you say about? I said Rodney? he also said he won like what, like uh, two fifty yesterday, right? That's right. He went, yeah. He went That's pretty good. Uh, I think we'll put together some winners today. Let's see what he picks in his Orioles game in a minute. But Mindy's on the over. I'll take the Bucks here uh, with Keller. Uh, look, this has been a good series. We know the Pirates right now. I call them a fluke or anything like that. Right. Hello to Solo today. Yeah, I mean they continue to play pretty well. Uh, I'll try them today. I'll add the handicap since it's only minus a dollar, uh, minus a dollar twenty, dollar twenty-five or so to get that. Uh, Butterscotch is going to be in agreement with me and Solo. Uh, likes the over with you here, Mindy. Cool. All right. The Mariners and the Phillies, and also an interesting series has been going on here. This one I'm showing right now, the Phillies a slight favorite here, $1.15 or so, 8.5 under 25. Steam was reported on the under. Definitely saw it touch nine. I've already seen a little kind of similar to that first game. I've already seen uh, a few eights out there to the over, but right now mostly uh, – uh, eight and a half but down the street has eight over 15. Okay. Well, I was going to look to the under here again. Uh, the yeah, Mariners bullpen got me last night. Uh, yeah. I was on the Mariners on the money line. They gave up the two and the eighth. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was kind of a bummer here, but you have Kirby with the 1.5 ERA on the road. Uh, you got Matt Stram here at, you know, 2.61. Uh, again, it's the Mariners, you know, hopefully that bullpen gets back in line. I thought they were ready to go. Uh, you know, and then they had that bad outing yesterday. So I look for them to get back in form today. I do think this one's going to go under the total here. Hey, Mindy, well, if you can promise me these bullpens can keep this under control, <laughs> I'll go and agree with you. Uh, All right. Not, just wear it. Yeah, not huge on either of these starters myself personally, but I'm going to use this steam here today and uh, take a look at the under. We're going to have to get on it now, man. Eight and a half under 25. Certainly doesn't feel uh, real, real comfortable, but uh, these teams are not big over teams right now, despite, you know, Philly's uh, pretty strong showing offensively, a good showing offensively uh, so far. That's I guess that's how I uh, might characterize it, but uh, so far, Phillies under in six of their last. And uh, Kirby, you mentioned it. I mean, maybe uh, I'm not saying he's the big guy with a two and a half ERA all season long, but he's done a job so far. And Matt Strom also seems to be overachieving a little bit. Let's go under eight and a half. Seattle and Philly. You've got a few on the game to look at as well before we move on. It's Blake on the Phillies. And. A Z would go Marlins. Hello to Corday on the day. Oh, Rodney, great. Enjoyed uh, the game. All right. All right, Mindy. Padres. My Padre is going to be taking on the Cubs here uh, in this one. And, uh, well, they're a road here all of a sudden. I mean, what, I mean what's going on here? Uh, I maybe Wesneski, but uh, you know I know you've liked Luke. Pretty much have characterized him as a guy trying to uh, you know take advantage and fill a spot. So the Padres here will be a favorite at a buck thirty, eight and a half, fifteen. Yeah, I mean I think it's going to be interesting how uh, this one goes. Like you, I you know was looking at the Cubs uh, yesterday, and again it was kind of one of those things again late innings. Uh, got the Cubs. Your Padres came through there in the clutch. Yeah. Extra yeah. runs there. What, top of nine? Uh, so, yeah, it was a good one to watch. I, I enjoyed the game yesterday. Uh, but this one, I think it's going to go over the total here. Again, you do have Wisniewski. We talked about him. Uh, he, he he does perform uh, so far this season better on the road than at home. Uh, so it could just be a little bit of getting used to, perhaps. But this Cubs team continues to produce. Um, you know, almost five runs of offense. They didn't get there yesterday, but the Padres were the ones I got over those uh, five runs. I think this one can get into 
uh, double digits here again today. I'm going to go over the total. Well, I know Butterscotch. Here, does he have the weather report for us? We'll see. Uh, Mindy, you said you watched the game, so you enjoyed the game. And, uh, well, as it much as it was cold. Sure, it was cold again, but, it, you know, it did sneak over yesterday. Uh, you know, we had, I zeroed in on it the first and under uh, yesterday when uh, – uh, I had, uh, I think it ended up – there was a lot of pushes yesterday when it finally got eight. Um, yesterday I gave out the Cubs on the show, but uh, has off Fernando Tatis. Uh, he's the Padres kind of going to be looking for to kind of turn it around, right, because right. whatever's not been going good for this team, he's back now. And I'm going to give him a lot of credit. Uh, at first I was a little bit of him dancing in the outfield. He was playing to the crowd. But that's not what I want to see. They're hearing his poignant – post game comments uh i'm i'm with you i'm never gonna you know i'm gonna support this he made a bad mistake uh i think he did it all in the name of trying to get back into the lineup uh, with his big mistake uh if he gets going watch out that's when the padres are going to start taking off maybe yesterday was the day i'll take the padres here uh today on the road and he's on the over and we have on the Padres with me, but Ziggy's going to go Mariners on the money line. Here's Jerome on the Cubs today, but Fernando on the Padres. Scotch gives us that weather update. Eight miles per hour. And uh, Ziggy Cubs on the run line. So, okay, negligible day maybe with the weather. Here's Corday, first five on the Padres, and I'll take the Padres. Believe it or not, I'll take the Padres today on the road. Again, I, I know I've a little bit. I want to get him on the road. Not not too happy being a favorite as far as a, a, maybe that's why uh, in premium, right? Uh, d d probably on him. Let's take him on the show. Thomas says, how'd you get a put? I'm talking about the total, of course, Thomas. Yeah. I think the total landed eight. It was pretty much eight today with the 5 3 final. Uh, that's going to be a push. And uh, hello to 209 Valley here today. Nice to see you. All right. Cardinals and Giants, and this one, the Giants, about 45, Logan Webb, total, eight and a half over 15. Well, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and stick with the Giants. It's like Nicholas has just been, uh, you know, not well this season. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, 7.84 ERA on the road, 7.46 ERA overall. Uh, just not doing well here this season. I think the uh, the Giants can go ahead and take uh, advantage today. I'm going to take the Giants here. Uh, money line minus 145-ish. Okay, Mindy, with you in this one. I'm willing to take Logan Webb. It's been great uh, with the mound uh, necessarily so far. Uh, you know, they haven't been winning his starts uh, anyway. I don't think the uh, numbers are reflective of uh, – uh, I mean, one and four, the 5.2 ADR are pretty bad. But Giants right now have won five straight now. Cardinals have just two of their last nine games. So both these teams came in the series broken. San Francisco's kind of repaired it a little bit. They're just two games to 500 now. And St. Louis, they are not used to this type of start, certainly at nine and 16. Let's take the Giants today. All right. And, uh, oh, and let me get our – comments here here is uh Burdick on the giants the butterscotch of course he's gonna say the cardinals suck he's got that big logo there <laughs> right yeah. and there's mick here today and uh he says giants will lose don't take them mick is always adamant on his picks but we are on the giants here at home <laughs> ziggy would take the cardinals in this one challenge yeah. well you know i think you know, I, the situation there is going to be, uh, you know, both pitchers, both start been uh, no doubt pretty weak uh, going here. So, uh, Webb had bad numbers against uh, the Cards, but I will say Michaelis uh, does have no good numbers against the Giants. Uh, not today, and just not not right now from the Cardinals. So, can't back them yet on the road. Maybe they can get get it back going uh, at home. It's been hot. He's given us four. Eight winners. I don't know if you saw that, Mindy. I had I finally had to uh, uh, knock out a lose at the end, of, but I had uh, I think I ended up with nine or ten straight premium winners there uh, within the last uh, forty-eight awesome. hours. So That's pretty hot. Yep. All right. 
Here's the Athletics and the Angels. And this one's on him. And he says $3 on the screen, but just as we were coming on the air, guess who got hit with the steam? It's Oakland. This one's down in, yeah, uh, 275. So tough to, you know, uh, uh, you know, even at 275 playing any any team, especially when we're still in April. But when we talk about the term value, here you go. The Angels were, I think everyone can agree, they were minus 300, minus 275. So if you're looking for a spot, yeah, yeah. you don't want to, yeah, that's, I mean, that's all I have to say about it, Mindy. There is some value, believe it or not, in a minus 275 here, if you consider it's a whole 25 cents. Right. And I mean, uh, Otani versus uh, the A's, he's been, uh, you know, pretty okay. Uh, 32.2% uh, strikeout, uh, you know, percentage uh, also has a 0.176 slugging percentage. So it's not like they hit the hard <laughs> here um, as, as well. Right. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and look under the total. I think this one, again, I feel like it's going to kind of be uh, one sided. I have to hope that the A's bullpen don't really, you know, blow this up too bad. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go uh, under the total here today, Ramon. All right, Minnie, gonna go under in this one and see with this total. I think you're getting a great price, uh, Mindy, with that because uh, talking about the side, but uh, this one was pushed higher due to some steam. So uh, what was an eight is now you know basically an eight and a half. Yeah, eight and uh, pretty much half flat now. I have eight and a half under fifteen on screen, but it continues to sneak up a little bit here, and I'm showing a lot of eight and a half flats at this point whip in the comments from the chat i'll give you a play here here's uh, blake today he wants to lay the run line with the angels hey let me see what this is this looks tricky he'll try to oh under first half um, not tricky no, on <laughs> under the first half under the first half uh first five under here comes a scotch lock it's going to be the angels today wow okay and uh, I'm going to take the A's plus a run and a half. Uh, mm -hmm. that, you know, that's just what we're limited to the show, certainly, yeah, a little yeah. bit. I think I'd probably put a little two and a half in there. And, uh, you know, that's not going to be a terrible price, certainly. Uh, maybe you can even take a peek at that price real quick before we uh, move on to the next game because here comes Angel. Uh, he, you know, Angel's going to be on the A's. My He's on the A's money line, so <laughs> right there. There's Solo doing uh, say exactly what I want to say. I'm just trusting the steam too here a little bit. Sure. And uh, let's see, Angels are gonna throw away the again. I, I you know, they're still. T I believe they're still what I think they're tenth in ERA, <laughs> Mindy. <laughs> so plus two and a half is minus one thirty-five. So I don't mind that. Well, I can only give plus one and a half. Price. I like to do whatever I want, but uh, <laughs> I can do what I want. Yeah, try to stick with what we offer as, at Tony's pick. So I'm going to just give it at plus one and a half. It's still um, plus, what is it? I don't want to delay here. Uh, still at plus one and a half at maybe plus 110, plus 105. So uh, hello to Gerardo. Hello to Darren. Hello to Michael Thompson here today as well. Um, thank you, Solo. Yeah, there it is. Couldn't get that good of a price, but uh, still, nonetheless, I will go with the A's today. Those swinging A's having <laughs> the Vegas, Mindy. The bad brothers. <laughs> yeah, they'll get here sooner than later. Uh, there's no doubt, Mindy. Without you know the A's in that, the crowds are so small. Anyways, if you move them to the minor league ballpark here, probably not going to make a difference. You move them in here, maybe next year. Uh, but, uh, you know, get a new stadium, but you could play in a minor league ballpark for you know, one year or so uh, because the, you know, you're only going to get more grief from those fans. They actually tried, uh, don't want to delay too much, but they were trying a, this was the dumbest idea I ever saw. I mean, if you're going to be a, a fair weathered fan, or I don't even know what you'd call them because they're so, uh, and again, I understand uh, the owner doesn't want to pay any money, but why would he? I mean, they can't get a stadium. No one's coming. So why build up the team? So there's a lot of animosity there as well, but uh, you're in a situation where uh, the fans aren't coming. You're not paying any uh, salaries out there. 
uh, you're, you're moving the team. So you're really in a, a dead end street when it comes to, you know, playing in that stadium, move them into the minor league stadium, get things rolling in Las Vegas. Anyways, I'll take. Have they talked time. about if they're going to do any sort of name change? No. Yeah. In fact, uh, I thought it was very poignant what the uh, ownership said um, about that, because remember, if there's been any one franchise, maybe in all the professional sports, that is the most transient franchise, even maybe more so than the. Remember, this these were the Philadelphia Athletics, the Kansas City Athletics, okay. the Oakland Athletics. They could certainly be the Las Vegas Athletics. Of uh, sure. they're playing in their fourth uh, city uh, in a franchise that you know dates back what they said. I mean, we have a franchise that dates back a hundred years. We're not going to change the name. Well, good. I mean, I hope they keep it just so I don't have to change around my formulas and such. <laughs> I'll take them today. I'll take the A's. I want to plus two and a half. I'm giving out plus one and a half. Mindy's on the under. All right. Here's the Orioles and the Tigers and Wentz. Orioles, big favorite on the road. <laughs> hey, let's send it. Maybe we'll send it out to our Baltimore correspondent. Right. Wow. Uh, uh, Orioles, big favorite here. Wow. Uh, yeah, so maybe we should ask uh, Rodney what uh, what we should do here in this one. But yeah, you got uh, Kyle Gibson here on the road, five point one nine ERA. Joey Wentz seven point three six. We know the Orioles still uh, lighting it up here on offense. Uh, 5.36 runs per game here over their last five. And if I take a look at that Tigers defense, right, they give up 5.13 runs uh, over their last five here. I'm going to go over the total. I think this one here gets into double digits as well today. All right, Mindy, on the over, Baltimore, on the over. Wow, okay. thought you were going to tell I thought you were going to give me Baltimore there for a second. Okay, uh, maybe I would. But. Huh? I said, sure. I I'll, I lean to the Orioles, yes. <laughs> well, Angels yeah. on the Orioles minus Ron Pierce solo. Angels, Mun line Ziggy. He's going to go opposite you here. He's going to be on the under. You see some hot action just come in on Detroit here uh, within the last uh, several minutes. And uh, they did get steam today. So uh, interesting there. Uh, Butterscotch wants to lay this line here uh, in this one. Uh, I'm going to take a challenge with you, Mindy, here, and I'm going to go over today. We haven't made a challenge in a couple days, so I'll go under in okay. Baltimore oh. and Detroit today. Tigers <laughs> challenge. All right. Yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> I just uh, balked there a little bit at the end. I kind of oh. like the Orioles, but uh, this looks like a serious action coming in on Detroit. I'm needing further evaluation. Since that came in, since we were there here, here are the Nationals and the Mets. This one and the Mets, huge fan force. They're up to 230. The total here uh, is also up, eight and a half under 15. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, just take the Mets here on the run line. Uh, Sitting at about minus 103. For me, that's where the value is uh, today. I don't think the Nationals are going to make, um, you know, uh, Lucchesi here, you know, look bad. So um, I'm going to go that route here today. I'm going to take the Mets here on the run line. They need to score a little bit more for me, but their bullpen's been hanging in there. Uh, so going to take those Mets. Looks like he was on him here. He, was, you know, he wants to lay half with the Mets today so i feel pretty strongly actually about the under i was thinking about making it a premium but i'm just going to give it out here on the show want to give some winners and uh man that's a good price too <laughs> right. that's okay i got plenty of hey i got a ton of winners going on over on the premium side we don't need you know we'll find some others all right this, one, this is my premium today here on the show i like um, it ramon i like it i like your freemium Hey, why not? I mean, uh, you know, uh, hey, not a flu to like, I don't know, I think I'm 66 now, 65, 66 over there, building up that number, want to get to 7,000. So impress, impress everybody. All right, uh, <laughs> but I'll take the under in this one, Mindy. It's about eight and a half, letting it go to you guys. Uh, <clears throat> I want to say it like, so, like it's an automatic winner. But I'll take the under Mindy's on the uh, Mets. It might on, be uh, a premium for me too. How about that? On the on that run line? No, on that under. <laughs> oh, on the you like it a lot. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like, uh, yeah, sounds like we'll get together on that one. <laughs> yes. And, uh, 
I'll send you a PayPal. We can do a personal. We'll, week. we'll bet that game. We'll bet the, Wendy and I are going to bet game. <laughs> That's what that means. We're betting it. We're mm -hmm. in. All right, Corday. Uh, I think I might be with Corday in this one, actually, but I didn't want to do two challenges, and I'll probably <laughs> take the run line anyway. So, all right. Uh, all right. And uh, Thomas, what is that? T U. All right. Uh, Vizigi would go under in the Mets game. And all right. Next up here, we have the Rays. And, you know, the Rays, the best team around. Eric the White Sox here. But Dylan Cease, Ben O'Connor, McClanahan, has been really outstanding. And here, the uh, third uh, race, 45, 7 over 20. Oh, I lost my raise. Hold on just a second. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there well, it is. There's my raise and White Sox. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over the total here in this one. Just have it uh, tipping over that seven here today. Uh, you got the Rays here putting up still six runs on offense. You got the White Sox here still allowing seven runs on defense. Uh, McClanahan, you know, he still gives up a little bit of a, a slugging percentage. That's getting like close to four uh, versus this White Sox team. I think the total is going to go over here today. I do. I agree with you as well. I'm going to take over with you in this one. Uh McClanahan, I you know think he's been outstanding. I appreciate what you're saying about uh, some of his metrics. I don't disagree with those. Dylan Cease uh, could be better than his uh, six ERA would show at this time. White Sox are in a bad way. I'm actually giving them a chance game. Like uh, uh, you know, they have lost 15 of 19 now. But saw what Thurman's here today he said. White Sox, they gotta win. I think that's what he's saying. As was going opposite <laughs> us, so. And uh, Angel looks like uh, he's you no know, Angels on a good. He's, he's always up for a good underdog. Scotch had the Tampa Bay money line as a lock today. I'm kind of leaning with Angel here and think that uh, these White Sox, they're really you know, obviously going to be a long year. Here's a nerfy for Brent. All right. Mindy, we're on the over. Okay. Royals and Twins, Granky on the road, Tyler Molly, Molly for 90. Um, the total here is 8 under 15. It was juiced to the over and has steadily moved to the other was steam on the under. Yeah, so I thought those Diamondbacks would really just go ahead and route the Royals. It just never really happened. And the middle relievers from the Royals pitched pretty well yesterday. Just got the 2-0 victory there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, though, look over the total here again today. Uh, I still feel like, uh, you know, the, the Royals are a team that can get a couple hits here, uh, especially with, you know, versus uh, a pitcher that's maybe a little, you know, a, a little subpar compared to someone like Zach Gallen out there. Uh, Molly's got the 3.65 ERA at home. Granky 6.3 ERA on the road. Uh, I'm looking for more runs here again today, Ramon, especially out of those Royals. I'm going to take the over. <laughs> well, I sure hope so for the Royals, but I'm going to end up taking the Twins on the run line. So I'll get the most of the runs, I think, and I'm going to get a lot of support here, uh, obviously, sure. in the chat. Maybe it's – Maybe it's just, stink. Uh, I don't want to call our group square. I just, it, <laughs> it might be a pretty square going against these Royals at this point. Uh, but I respect that you're calling it on the over here. Uh, what did uh, I say? You know, add an eight. I don't. I don't know. I might feel like horrible on the right. It's a yeah. I mean, that's a popular uh, uh, angle thing that everyone agrees. But okay, uh, on the over, and I'm on the twins on the run line. Perfect. I think they'll beat them by two. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Don't be down on them. Here's the Yankees and the <laughs> Gary Cole. Look, uh, Rangers have been, Rangers, uh, they fall to a little bit of a da disaster there in Cincinnati. They might have they might own their true colors a little bit. Uh, you know, still give the Rangers a lot of credit for what's going on, but they are facing the man. 
Yeah, I mean, I, uh, you know, watched the the Reds like maybe most of the folks did yesterday. If you had some time in the afternoon, uh, you know, reported that Ashcraft lost his grandmother. So he was pretty emotional out there uh, on the mound. Uh, didn't quite get the win, but still the Reds got the win, right? Uh, we kind of thought that that might be the case and got the cash, uh, you know, on them. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and look for uh, the Yankees here to take care of the Rangers today. Uh, Rangers need to kind of get back on track here offensively. They've been struggling. Uh, I think they might struggle here against someone like Garrett Cole. Perhaps the Rangers, uh, you know, maybe they just play better a little bit at home here too. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, I like the Yankees today in this one. I really like the Yankees today in this one, Mindy, with Garrett Cole. Um, nothing slowing down uh, Garrett at this point. But we do have Blake here, plus one and a half in this one. Looks like Angel might be going under in this one. i got to agree with that. I think Cole comes yeah. out. This is a, a pretty strong spot, I would think, for Garrett Cole today. I'd be willing to lay the run line as well. But I think Mindy and I are going to be on the uh, money line here with the Yankees. Pretty strong, it feels like, for me. Um, I probably – would have made this a premium somehow, whether or not run line, money line, not sure. doesn't matter. Mindy and I are on the money line together. <laughs> that gets us in, gets us in. That's, in. Baseball. That's baseball. It feels really good today, you guys. Like it. Uh, feels really good coming off of some strong days here with the team's team. Don't want to see any talk about any losing in there uh, in the Discord. Let me pop it up here before we change to make sure people join us Mindy, uh, in the discord uh, not gonna uh, you know uh, be upset with anybody you know having some losses but uh, we are producing it pretty good right now so shouldn't be too much losing going on join us in the discord there it is thank you Tony all, all right, right. So thanks for watching and make sure you get over to the toniespicks.com website right now and check out our all cappers tab where you can purchase some of our own personal picks and be sure to go ahead and use the promo code TonyT at checkout to save 20%. Okay, have fun. Watch another video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.